say the Commodus Grams. Yeah, from Bamber. So, uh, let's. Boom. No. Kitchen. The kitchen. Coffee machine. Control room. Hi, Conrad. Hi, Helmut. How are you doing? <laughs> Fine. First time here in the new surrounding. Yeah, this is an absolutely awesome place you built. I didn't build it, but I... Re <laughs> oh, yes, I rebuilt it. You reanimated it. <laughs> yeah, and we are in this... We have the great pleasure hearing our equipment behind of us. That's really cool. That's, that, that, was, that was missing up there in the yeah. office. So it's a big difference between playing in front of your monitors or in front of your amp. It is, yes. Cap. And that's... Uh, everything is new. Because you, uh, uh, some of my amps I didn't hear live. Since you I always bought. tested your amps on, uh, yes. through your cap? <laughs> yes. Your... Most of them. As of the new ones the last three years. No, it's a big advantage. Okay, so you play through the magnetone today. Today is magnetone, yes. Uh, I love it. It's a, such a warm, beautiful, dense sound. And uh, for this, I, I'm in the... Normally I don't... I prefer the right channel because it's a little bit more bitey and more like a... Marshall, but the left channel has this wonderful tremolo. Ah. A very nice effect. But let's let's plug in. And you and me as well, we have the, those uh, biodynamic ribbon mics. 
wonderful mics because why not one mic? Normally we have we had always two mics together, the Royer and the Shure, yeah, which is good. But I I'm I'm convinced this Bayer M160 is such a uh, the, there's no high end missing. And it has the quality of a ripple mic, and it's, it's uh, how did you uh, describe it? Uh, it's not a figure eight. Yeah. It's uh, a card weight. Yes. <laughs> and Which makes it easier because the other thing is we have a very loud playback and effect and everything in these wedges. Yeah. So we, we hear the direct direct sound from, from our cabs. The dry and sound, yes, without effects. And but we have the luxury feeling of reverb and delay. But this is the, the best setup for, for uh, to be on stage with that. Really, we yes, have these yes, yes. mics, they go in through a Neve preamp. <laughs> yes, yeah, yes. New Neve preamp you got. <laughs> and uh, then in your universal audio interface. And then we use the capital chamber and so the, what is it? Echoplex. Yeah, Echoplex for, Echo for epics delayed. and epics. Yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> I would say that would be also interesting for recording. Or yeah, absolutely. Be? Uh, Better than headphones. Yeah. Because maybe you guys know this problem. It's a pain in the ass. You have to have the playback very loud in the headphones if you if your amp is loud and then the quality isn't really not good and it on the other hand it's it's really hurting your ear. No. And in this set up, I would say no problem. So you would like to track with those? Yes. For playback? Yes. And as far as I know, we, we, we tested it. We don't have too much crosstalk between the playback coming out from those monitors. Right. There are four yeah. monitors in front of us and very loud. And uh, this mic doesn't take yeah. notice we didn't, of We that. didn't even uh, put uh, the, 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 the plastic shield around which we could do then the problem would be solved anyway but if, without it i don't hear a cross talk no and um, um, let's say in a real production you you should hear because it's always better having a dry signal but uh, the advantage is is more than the risk yeah that's and that's true. the and that's the uh, important thing for the feeling no? Because that's the good thing sitting in front of the monitor because the sound is perfect and everything is perfect. But you think your, your, your dynamic uh, behavior is different. Yeah. So you have much more case, dynamic just, steps in between. Yeah. Because I, I don't think I would hear this. Uh, this. Uh, I guess what, what, what? And, and you... Would, also I would turn up volume and uh, maybe that's important. Uh, I, I'm sure it's important. Yeah, sure. In, uh, the, the gain of, 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 of dynamic. Uh, what do I have on the side of gain? Yeah, tube zone. <laughs> Is enough. <laughs> but if you want more, I have, that's, that's an interesting thing for today maybe, I have both now of the King Tone. Yeah, classes. so these are the, uh, what is the difference between those? The, the, this one is Germanium and this one is Silicium. Okay. That's the only difference. Germanium, Silicium. And this, uh, is, this, is, this is Silicium? You have the Silicium. Yes. Okay. Uh, normally you say, uh, uh, which I don't <laughs> put the guitar direct in the germanium. Okay, why not? <laughs> but let's let's listen. Here you have this interesting red light, which would show would show if the bias is okay. But hmm. 
during playing or just? Yeah, it should be always. <laughs> Let's do it by ear, why not? I love the germanium. That would be without, because it's a beautiful clean sound if you turn down the volume. And I, I think I talked very often about this, but in, I would say, almost every fuss, I uh, would say not turning the volume on 10 yeah. is, uh, is the, better, uh, the best sound. Maybe if somebody likes this very sick, big muff-like sound when you turn up the volume. <laughs> But if you turn down one millimeter, it's a quite uh, nice overdriven sound. And anyway, I, I, I have it before an overdriven uh, pedal. Maybe this would be too much. Perfect for this kind of fuzzes is a, some kind of Marshall plexi. Maybe that's too much, but it's okay. Be careful with the sound, with the noise. You have to be careful, but it's it's possible. No? And, uh, show us the silicium. Okay, so let's. Take a look on that. Without that. That is a little bit too yeah, much. Do something with the bias. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. But that's the, the, the it, if you turn the, the bias left, it begins to spit. <laughs> that's this uh, funny sound. You have, in the, with this, you have the uh, possibility in the middle is the so-called tongue, which means less bass. Sound. Pretty nice. And really then, like the, it. And this is that's the, the, the both on the um, outside is modern and vintage. That's a little bit different. Some uh, more. Mm -hmm. 
the song <laughs> <laughs> Sounds a little bit like a um, what is it ring modulation yeah, to me. Yeah. But a lot of, very lot, nice pedal. Of variation, no, I, 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 a very good brand. And this is the boost? No, that's the volume. I mean, this this makes the boost. Yeah, this it makes the volume and it doesn't the fast change the, the sound too much. Uh, I think that's the sound from the pedal. This yeah, is it changes. It's a, it's a combination of all, but normally okay. that's the volume and that's the fast. Fat fool. <laughs> this pedal yeah they are really good wonderful wonderful even uh, in the combination with a, a relatively distorted crunchy amp yeah so I want to check it out with a clean sound finally mm -hmm. like without it Sounds great with uh, more than one voice. Like it, it, I think it makes the clean sound better. Yeah. Because you hear the tones well. Mm -hmm. Sometimes with the fuzz it doesn't sound too good because the overtones doesn't don't match too good. The song. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, that's no, too much. Not. I would say vintage. <laughs> Like the fat fool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this light. This is really nice to play in here in this room because you can play really silent and it is totally silent. Mm -hmm. It's like hundred time more, a million more time <laughs> dynamic range. <laughs> The very spitty I wasn't ten, so sorry about that. Cool. The broken synthesizer sound. <laughs> no, I think this ten problem is, is not is is more on the Germanium.
because that gets really boomy. Not not so much with the. I think ten is not always the best thing. So I just try to always to don't turn it up to ten. Yeah, that's anyway. especially with a fuzz, because then you have a, such an enormous range on sound for uh, uh, every sound possible. Very, very distorted, beautiful, clean, all in more or less one battle. Not every okay, so it's just this classical uh, uh, tube screamer crunch. Then you have to have a tube screamer like battle, as for instance, the tube. What, what do you think about the importance of the final amp? The yeah, very important. Very important. This, the, that's this. What is it? The CCC nine. My favorite uh, divided amp. CCC nine and fifteen. One fifteen. Uh, one five. Because uh, that's the nine watt. Is the two six v six. Fifteen is two EL eighty four. Okay. Uh, way loud. Uh, oh, yeah, it is louder and has more this AC fifteen. But yeah, now we on on nine. Now it's the. Uh, Tweet uh, the Defender, yeah. the small. I like it. Yeah, it great aim. Does it great? In a very good combination with the Celestin uh, GS, G65 Heritage in the rock block. Sounds cool. Mm -hmm. Sounds very good. Yeah, so we're going to do a song. Yeah, let's do a, a riff. <laughs> yeah. Uh, where we can... Leave, leave out our 80s <laughs> sounds because we have lots of echo and lots of reverb, which is sometimes cool. I think it's cool. It's anyway. cool. Not for everything, uh, but let's do it, yes? Okay. So, see you People, next time. Please subscribe. Bye. See you. Bye.